For more than 800 years, it sat above the city of Mosul, the famous leaning minaret, Al Hadba, nicknamed the Hunchback. It was inside the Al Nuri Mosque that the leader of ISIL, Abu Bakr al Baghdadi, made his most celebrated appearance in 2014. But on Wednesday evening, his fighters blew it up. Federal police troops have been trying to fly drones over the area to assess the damage. The drone pilots have to fly high to avoid snipers, and now the distinctive landmark is almost impossible to spot. Aside from its base, it's just a pile of rubble. As the security forces continue to press into Mosul's old city, the loss of this celebrated monument is a blow. It's also a reminder that they face an opponent who has no interest in the preservation of life or history. The enemy destroyed this historic place because they are savages. They are inhumane. They have no humanity. That is the real Islamic State. Overhead, the air bombardment continued to hit the old city. And no let up in the ground fighting or any sign the ISIL fighters are giving up. The Al Nuri Mosque is about 150 meters down this road, or what remains of it. The federal police are able to go up and down here in armored Humvees, but we've been told to advance any further on foot is very dangerous. This area is controlled by snipers, and the federal police say that anyone coming out, they're treating as an enemy, and they're shooting. As the day progressed, the fighting intensifies and we have to move out. A mortar strikes a rooftop just 10 meters away. But as we leave, more troops and armor arrive. The security services want to keep moving forward. Inside ISIL territory, the situation is desperate. The family we've been speaking to all week have now run out of food. I'm tired, so tired. Today my daughter finished all milk we have and I have no money to buy any more. And a small ray of light. Many of foreign fighters have left their families behind and run away. They have cut their beards and their hair and tried to swim across the Tigris. It is now a race against time. Mosul's most famous monument may have gone, but there are still thousands struggling to survive. Tony Cheng, CGTN on the edge of Mosul's old city.